And welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about the progress that's being made on gun control legislation at the state capitol. My guest this segment is Senator Leland Yee, who represents San Francisco and San Mateo counties. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me again. Uh, you have uh, a, num you know, a number of bills dealing with gun control, and there are so many out there, and they seem to be moving fairly quickly through the legislative process. Well, uh, that's correct. Uh, we took an extraordinary amount of time uh, going from 9 o'clock uh, in the morning to 9 o'clock in the evening, and we've gotten all those bills out. Had two bills uh, on the docket, and both of them got out. One was to close the loophole on the uh, assault weapon ban, the bullet button, and then the other was the safe storage. So we were very fortunate to get those bills out. Let's talk about the safe storage, only because that doesn't get a lot of publicity, and it's sort of flying under the, the radar. And that basically would require safe storage of uh, firearms in a, in a home. That's right? correct. Uh, that uh, if you leave uh, your residence and you have a firearm, uh, in your uh, home, then you have to do uh, an, uh, either a uh, number of things. One, either you lock it in some kind of a storage lock, uh, or you put it in a car trunk, or you go ahead and uh, put a, uh, a trigger lock uh, on that particular weapon so that uh, there's no unintended use of that particular weapon. I, I can imagine this is directed less, correct me if I'm wrong, less at criminals and more at accidents in the home? That's correct. Uh, oftentimes you hear these horror stories about, uh, you know, a, a child going into the bedroom and finding a weapon and then discharging accidentally and, uh, and, and horrible things happen. Or uh, the kids find and they're playing and, and, and then they, they shoot each other. And so those are the kinds of problems we're trying to prevent. Uh, let me segue to another uh, bill that you're, you're carrying that so far is moving through the legislature also. That would expand, really, the vote, the vote in California by putting polling places, uh, requiring po polling places on all UC and CSU campuses. That's correct. Uh, one of the things that we found last year uh, with our online voter registration was the large number of uh, young individuals, particularly college students, registering to vote online. And so if you know the life of a student, it's extremely difficult, time-consuming. Uh, you, you study, you work, and so oftentimes you don't have time to then go home to your voting place. And so what we are looking at now is to create a situation where in every single CSU and UC campus uh, that there is a polling place so that students uh, don't have to go off campus in order to vote. They can do it uh, in the convenience of their campus. Of course, you know what some cynics are saying that, uh, yes, that additional vote, the online vote and the student vote, those are young voters, they vote Democratic, you just want to expand the Democratic vote. Well, one could argue that, but the reality is that uh, both uh, young people are uh, Democrats and they're also Republicans. Uh, there are Republican young Democrats in uh, all, all kinds of different campuses of CSU and UC urging individuals to uh, be part of their uh, affiliation. So it's really open to anybody trying to uh, 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 convince uh, young individuals in our college and, uh, uh, and CSUs and UC uh, which party to affiliate with. A question, or some people question the actual need for this because on, on nine of 10 UC campuses, there, there is a polling, there was a polling place last November. 16 of, uh, out of 23 CSU campuses had a polling place. That's absolutely right. And, and what we're doing is to then codify this particular practice uh, get some of the other colleges and university on board uh, in this uh, particular practice. You know, we've got to find ways to increase participation, and this is one of the ways to help our young people do that. All right. Senator Yee, thank you very much for talking about both these pieces of legislation. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me again. And thanks to our viewers for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see all of our interviews on My Government On Demand, also on YouTube. I'm Steve Swatt. Have a great day.